Uh, hey guys, we're here with another episode of our Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 series. Last time we got a head start on building the pool area up in this building, and I have finished the water slide. Uh, we will be showing that off in just a second. Uh, I gotta say, it's good to be back. It's been like a week since I've recorded these, so uh, I'm very excited to uh, continue this. But we have one order of business before we move on to this. Uh, the straw poll received a few votes. And we are finally going to be adding our fourth animal here. It's The water slide is really loud in there. So I'm going to go ahead and actually lower the desktop volume for you guys. Because it's going to probably get really loud a little bit more. Okay. So we need to research our fourth animal that we're finally going to be adding. Which is going to be polar bears. Electric fences. Awesome sauce. All right. Oh my God, it's so loud. <laughs> it's really loud for me, so hopefully it's not as bad for you guys. Uh, but yeah, we um, polar bears received a few votes. Chimpanzees received a few votes. I think there was one more animal that received votes, but uh, overwhelmingly so. People want polar bears to be the fourth animal in our park, so I am obligated to make it so. So we will add our viewing platforms, which, how did we do this? I believe it's three away from the gate, or three away from the edge. Yes, I am correct about that. Uh, which edge would it be? This one. So it would go here. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, that's fine, I guess. I don't know why it's like that. <laughs> Maybe the polar bears will come right up to them? I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Things are just... They're a disaster. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this one. Open up all the viewing galleries. Edit the terrain. Uh, sizing. Wait. Oh my god, it's so loud. You guys can totally hear that. There's no way you can't. That's so loud. Yeah, okay. What the? Ah, stop! It's good to be back. No, wait, no. This one's supposed to go down here. Yeah, okay. We need to fix this one, too. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and paint this with ice. Now we have snow and ice, which looks like that. We have ice, which looks like that, and we have this, which is just snow. I like the snow and ice, to be honest. I like how rugged it looks. Okay. Uh, 
And we will also paint the walls with something a little bit more gray so it looks icy. There, that looks good. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and adopt our new polar bears. We're going to get a male, a female, and a baby female. Hit play real quick so that they can come out. Sweet new polar bears, bro. Jesus Christ, that male one is huge. <coughs> Excuse me, that male polar bear is jai fucking enormous. Okay, elephant house, grizzly bear, polar bear. We need one of you. Which I believe it needs to go, yep. Right there. I wish it didn't have like moss on it, but there's nothing we could do about that. That looks kind of stupid, not going to lie. Uh, toys? Oh, they like ice and meat. And it's going to be floating there. Nice to chew on. And that's going to bug the shit out of me because I just now noticed it. Okay. Problem solved. So... So we can allow gravity to not get stupid. Okay. Yep. Uh, what do you add to this to make it icy? Cactus. Maybe some dead bushes. Uh, ghost trees. Space trees. Maybe there's something in space trees. Um, nope, not not really. Tropical pirate trees. No. Uh, yeah, not much in the wonderful world of trees here. So, looks like this is what they're going to get. Yeah, that's about it for polar bears, honestly. Okay, so we have our polar bears here. Um, I had a good suggestion in the video that went up today, actually. I'm recording this on Friday, so episode what would have been five. To name uh, some of the rides after animals, which I actually really like that, that idea. So I'm going to go ahead and directly steal one of the ideas that somebody had. So the, here we have Kristen the kangaroo. We're going to change it to Carrie the kangaroo. And name like rides after them. So I had a good idea to name the trampolines after a kangaroo. I think somebody suggested name the carousel after one, but I like the idea of doing the uh, the trampoline. So name it Carrie's Jumpolines. Because they were called Jumpolines before your mom jumped on one back in 76. Um... Yeah, so if you guys have more nickname uh, suggestions for rides for animals, let me know. I definitely want to hear it. I want to have every single thing in this park named by uh, the end of the series. So definitely let me know what you guys want to see. So real quick, uh, we will show off some of the new things in our park, which I added a little bit of a gift shop area that's full of trees because there's not actually a lot of souvenir stands. So you got some uh, hats, some uh, balloons, some uh, souvenirs, more souvenirs, and uh, some shirts down here. And I just added a nice little park area here in the middle because uh, we didn't need all that room. So that's what is going to occupy that building. And over here in this building, as you guys know, is really loud in here. It's actually hurting my ears. Hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. I'm actually going to go ahead. I can't mute it, can I? Settings. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to... So I don't hate myself. And I don't go insane. 
Okay, so as you guys can see, our pool is bumping right now. Um, uh, so I added a diving board, some chairs and stuff like that. I figured out the trick to the uh, water slide. My problem was is that I was making it end uh, over here. And starting it the other way. So actually, all I did was just flip it around and have it go the other way. So what we can do is that we could actually ride it real quick. And I can show you guys how it turned out. I also added these tube sections here because uh, it makes it look a little bit more smooth. And yeah, people just fall straight into the pool, no worries. Um, so yeah, that uh, definitely made our pool a lot better. So this pool area is 100% certified done now. And uh, finally, 10 minutes into the episode, we're going to be moving on to the main event. We are finally leaving generic land. We are going to be building our first themed world. Um, I have an idea for all four of them that I want to do. One is going to go here to about like here-ish. One is going to take up all this top area. One's going to be this corner and one's going to be this side right here. And we're going to do the one over on this side first, I think, which is going to be a Western themed world. So, what I want to do for now is just go ahead and continue the pathway past these buildings. And we'll have like some little nice little park areas to take up space here. And uh, basically, I want to build an entrance and walls into the Western world. And then we'll paint this all with like dirt and sand. And we'll get started on building Western themed rides. So the idea is I want to have a, a mine ride that will kind of be like the main event of the of the area, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, so hopefully it won't take up too, too much space, but I kind of want to shove it off in the corner and kind of do it like Disneyland style. Like if you've ever been to Disneyland, they have those giant buildings, which um, it simulates like being underground, but in actuality, you're just in a humongous building. That's kind of what I'm going for with this mine ride. And I want to make it very uh, cinematic. Like, I don't want it to be like a traditional roller coaster. Like, I want it to be like you're going on an adventure through this abandoned mine and something happens and you're off track and now you're going fast and you're having fun and it's like, whoa. Um, so, yeah, that's basically how it's going to go. It's going to go like, whoa. So. I think what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and build an entrance out here, which we have the tools to build entrances, I believe. I think they're in here. Yeah, these are like one by one entrances, though. That's the no, I could build three by one entrances. Perfect. So is there a wooden one? Yeah, wooden entrance sides. Oh, yeah, that's going to look beautiful. That's exactly what I'm going for. Do it kind of like that. And then have this on top. Oh, not that one. This one. Yep, just like that. Make it kind of look like rugged and uh, old. And then we could take some western walls and build a wall around this area. So it kind of looks like it's like a little western town is kind of what I'm going for here. So methinks what we'll do is we'll build the um yeah we'll build the walls now so western town walls those always look really good uh we don't need any of these we just need walls so full height walls so what we're going to do is we're actually going to have them face outwards because nothing's going to go there so it won't affect anything And what we can do is this is actually what I used to build the uh, buildings that you guys see um, to make it a lot easier is what you can do is you can save custom structures. So what I want to do is I want to save anything and anything, anything and everything that was used in this area, save it as see so you guys can see all the stuff I used West wall, save it and then open it as west wall and then all we have to do is just keep on placing this so we can put it up I think like three high I'll be fine and this makes it go by a lot faster and we can delete whatever we need to to make room okay 
Okay, I want to have it face out. So, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so that's as out as we're going to get. So, I want to delete these three then. Ah, shoot, clicked out of the game again. Tend to do that a lot. Yeah. Okay. More Western Wall building. We're getting far away from the music, which is good, because I want it to be very Western soundy over here, which means I might actually have to lower the, the volume of the music um, over on the safari ride. Okay. Yep. And just keep it going like this. It's very empty out here. It actually it's actually a little bit ominous. Okay, we can hear we can hear a little bit of the safari music again. You guys can't cuz I turned the music down. It's pretty faint. Let me crank that back up for you guys. Oh shit. This is the last time I click anywhere. Okay, and I'm actually going to stop right there because I don't know how far out I want it to go, although I actually got it pretty head on. So I think... Yeah, I'm going to go like this. And then, because I want to have enough room for this area too. And this isn't that big though. So I think I'll go one more. And then I want to flip it like this. Okay, so this is going to be the dimensions of our Western world. So they have a ton of cool Western stuff that I want to add to our park. Um, one of my favorite things to do is kind of make a center for all the worlds, if that makes sense. Uh, no, I want to have it like this. So, Because, yeah, because it'd be in conflict, which means it's right. Kind of have like a center for all, a centerpiece for all the worlds at the entrance. And, um, like, it, you'll get, you guys will see what I mean, I think. Oh, that's beautiful right there. That's a beautiful thing. How perfectly it fits. Okay, so this is going to be our Western world. This is our boundaries for it. So we're at 18 minutes. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and paint this all with dirt. I like, I'm from Nevada the great state of Nevada. So I'm used to dirt deserts more and that's actually kind of what I'm going for than sand deserts. Cause to me, this looks too like a, like middle Eastern, de middle Eastern desert, I guess is the best way to put it. That's a little bit too dark. Yeah. That's more, that's more like it. And then do some, that's not changing. Anything. Oh yeah. It's cause it wasn't clicking. That's mud. Yeah, so do a lot of, like, this is what I'm going for. No, not that one. It was this one. Do a lot of this one is what I'm going to be going for, and then add, like, splotches of rock. I think that looks really good. And it'll change the, it'll change the sides, too, so it looks like it blends in. It's a nice transition, actually. We could patch up the outside later. For now, we're just gonna keep this all deserty, because this probably won't be the th the. This will probably be the third or the either the third or the fourth world we'll work on. I think I want to do this one and then this one next, because this one's gonna be really small. I imagine this one will take like four episodes tops. Then again, I thought Generic Land was gonna take like three, so maybe not. Okay.
so the outside I do want to fix out here because this area is done and I want to keep this grass so is this grass I don't mind a little bit of sand leakage out because sand leakage out means that grass isn't leaking in and if grass is leaking in it kind of like ruins the illusion in my opinion see like this right here that's exactly what I'm talking about okay so then um, we'll add splotches of rock once it's done or like once we made some more progress on it but for now I think what I'm gonna do is we gotta we gotta choose a pathway we're gonna use for this because I don't want it to be the same out there so we have dirt that honestly looks really good um, sandy that looks a little bit too fancy in my opinion leaf yeah honestly I don't I don't think anything but dirt is gonna work and we'll use these uh, wooden cues because they're Western themed specifically okay so I like that we got these dirt paths and my thought is is that oh it's actually decently symmetrical too this side's a little bit longer okay so what I wanted to do is dedicate like this corner of it to the town actually like the actual town if and leak as much as we need to dedicate this little corner to the town that way you can also walk out of it and go into this area um, which will either be the third or the fourth world we work on I don't want to spoil that for now I'll, I'll let you guys uh, talk about what it's possibly gonna be so um, for now I think the first thing I want to do is I actually want to build like a nice little building out here and I because I have a really cool idea for the buildings there's this cool ride uh, thrill rides no gentle rides no yes Wild West show the gentle rides so the because you can place this down and it's just like a simple little ride like you go in actors cowboys and stuff so I think it'd be cool to have buildings here buildings here put the Wild West show in the middle and have the buildings full of uh, Western themed shops and food and stuff like that because they have Western themed everything too if bison burgers golden nugget candy and steakhouse which is interesting and root beer for drinks so I think that'd be cool to sell some of those stuff, those things. Um, I think they have some Western themed souvenirs too. Yep, balloons, uh, cowboy hats, raccoon hats, Indian feathers. They're gonna be really cool. And then we could build some more like in town sort of rides out here. And then uh, use as much room as we need to out here. But then I want to do the big coaster, do the big mine coaster out here. And we can maybe even like have it go in a canyon and have it go underground, have all kinds of uh, explosions and dynamite and stuff like that. It's kind of what I'm going for, uh, which I think will be cool. So for now, I think, what should we get started on? Okay. How many wide is this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Okay, so it's thirty two wide. Bam, go away. So it's 32 wide, which means the Wild West show, if I want to put it smack in the middle, it's a 5x5, five five, which it will not be able to go smack in the middle because it's even, unfortunately. I want to make it go smack in the middle. So if it, if it were 33 and it was a 5x5, five 33 minus 5 is 28, divided by 2 is 14, which means I need to have 14 on both sides. So I need to bump this wall out by 1, which I can very easily do with our handy-dandy uh, replacement tool. So I want to... Ah, uh, my, my hand's cramping. That's not good. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll use my right hand only for now, but my left hand, I need to flex and decrampify this. 
Ah, oh, god damn it. Um, okay, we're gonna save this. We're doing it live. Fuck it. Bill O'Reilly style. We're doing it live. Okay. Save this as... I gotta use my right hand to type. <laughs> Tall. West. Wall. Okay, it's going away. It's going away. It's going away. Okay. Okay, and then let's take all of this. And... Be gone with it. And let's go to structure, custom structure, open. Tall west wall. Oh, that's transition. Okay, so it should be there, and then bump it back one. And then go to walls. Yep, like this. Do the same thing over here. Paint our terrain so we fix up our s dirt. Actually, it looks pretty good. Just to be safe. Okay, so that's going to be the dimensions for our west wall. I think in between, I think what I'll do is in between episodes I'm going to go ahead and place the western show and the uh, make the two buildings out here because they're going to be identical make the two buildings out here and then uh, we'll we'll continue from there so uh, I think yeah 27 minutes is about right okay so if you guys did enjoy this video a like and a subscription would be much appreciated let me know if you guys have any more ideas for the park I'd love to hear them down in the comment section below uh, and I will see you guys in the next one later